I'm in Frisco Fields and need some new wheels. On it, lad. Just getting her warmed up. I think you guys will like this one. Give me your chance, get out of the way. Should have just stuck to the road. Made it more, way more difficult. Olivia's at the country club. Get in. I'll run you through the plan. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Marcano's having real estate problems. I still don't understand why Olivia Marcano was involved in any of this. By all accounts, she had two or three times the money that Sal Marcano had. Money didn't mean shit to her. From what I was able to piece together, she hired someone to kill Lucho. Wanted to run things herself. Bottom line, I think she got off on all that mob bullshit. We're fucked, Olivia. You understand? That fucking shit stain Duval didn't name us in the will. Now everything's going to his goddamn nephew. Have you actually reviewed the will? I read the part that said all the land I'm building my casino on is now going to Stephen motherfucker DeGamo. I read that part. Six months ago, Remy revised the will, but he never executed it. What the hell are you talking about? In order for the will to be valid, it needs to be signed. Well, goddammit, woman, I know that. What does it mean for us? It means I have grounds to contest. Remy and I were business partners in several ventures, and one of my holding companies lists the land as an ancillary asset. Sounds like a lawyer's wet dream. What's something like that gonna run me? I haven't the slightest idea. Nearly every cent I got is tied up in that goddamn casino. I can't afford a big legal fight. There's got to be another way out of this mess. Stephen is coming to town for the funeral. I could arrange a meeting. Offer him a percentage of the casino's profits if he signs over the land. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And then once he signs, we take care of him. All right, set it up. But my patience is at its goddamn end. Do you understand, Olivia? I'm tired of this bullshit. Have a little faith, Sal. Now, Mr. Clay entered the country club disguised as a waiter. Everyone in attendance was a rich asshole or part of the Southern Union, so getting Lincoln in there was easy. You put a black man in a uniform and he's damn near invisible. Hell, I drove in through the front gate and dropped him off. No one even gave us a second look. No. Surely, his uniform wasn't enough to get him past Mrs. McConnell's personal security detail. I mixed up a vial of fast-acting LSD. You know, same basic formula that we use as part of MK Ultra, and I gave it to Lincoln. He used a syringe to put a couple of drops into every drink he served. <laughs> Within a couple of minutes, anyone who drank that concoction was whacked out of their goddamn mind. Fuck me. What? What happened? I never learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> you sure you're up for this? Shit, I'll get in there and dose the guards with his military-grade LSD and get to Olivia. Don't let those pricks goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. How's it going, buddy? Follow the driveway up to the left. <laughs> Alright, so this should be interesting. Everyone's gonna be tripping. You've got the case, the syringe is in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. <laughs> Good. No sense in giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look this at you. This gonna be weird. If they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> fuck you. Remind me. Like your head. You see everybody else got here on time. Oh, racist. <laughs> Lazy nigga. That's they job. Had me out there. Fucking asked me where I got my car. Where I'm from. You best get in that uniform. Me through. Get out of my goddamn kitchen, Claudia. You guys know how to get through this invisible door. 
rough on the dude. Okay. Probably would be good if I grab the drink. And so we get orange. Oh, never mind. I forgot that I'm supposed to poison it. This dude's totally gonna take a drink. Don't mind me, just putting some high potency drugs right in the drinking supply. And should be good. Don't mind me. Okay. Drinks. What do you drinks? Don't mind me. Stop right there. Man. Pop it off, huh? There you go. Drink up. Drink up, Skippy. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Oh, you deserve everything you're about to get. Drink up, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. So do they have a suspect? Now the one, old Earl set to send some of his boys out to the drink? rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the coloreds. Fucking hey, what's up? was never too smart, but you don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. Oh, okay. Well, this dude needs a drink. You ain't getting laid. There you go. Check out. We got the gothic girl. Thank you for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall all. Drink up. that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. <laughs> right him to the end. Remy is not what I'll miss most about him. What I'll miss most about Remy Duvall is that he tastes like fried him. chicken. No, he gave no. <laughs> a voice. <laughs> I was like, she heard me. This city of someone who honored its history. Not only that, he drinks. Oh, oh, baby. Which extends all the You're way old. back to Never mind. Remy was a dear, dear friend of mine. A dear friend to all of us. In the coming days and weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city. By preserving the way of life we hold dear. To Remy. Wake up, everybody. Give your last job. The boy's in absolute care in the kitchen. Okay. Ooh, I was like, man, I thought they were about to jump me. Is that Remy? When you're right, you're right. Beat you, motherfucker. Okay, that's all. That's what I want. Thanks. Where do I go? Oh, wait. We find the shine who killed Look at the map. Get over here with that bottle, man. Reginald. Please keep your voice down. It's not saying what? Oh, he's probably one of the good ones. Out in the middle of the night, drinking bed sheets, chanting, hollering. I appreciate all Yeah, I walk so slow. Ew, just man ass. I've never actually seen the nephew mm -hmm. either. I have nice. some money. Bring that bottle over Maybe. here. Maybe. Well, as far as no one said anything racist, like, actually, like to the like me though. Oh come on now, Mister. I don't know what you think you saw. I saw my client with that Marcano woman. I know Mister Gamo's here, and I will go to the police. Punch him right in the mouth. Oh my god. Let's be civilized about this. That's right. I was like, I heard Red Foreman at the party. I mean, every last goddamn dime is gone. Yeah, you get the bottle. What am I going to tell the other brothers? We'll remind them to maintain white pride, brother. But right now, 
It's the only thing the Southern really Union has to, to its name. That is so lovely. Wait a minute, I think, wait. Nope, is that dude, that dude's totally gonna get laid later. Yeah. I think it's working. Yep. Bingo. Bingo. Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day. If you're just tuning in, we are dousing everybody, well, in this bottle, and in all the other bottles that we've been serving, everyone's been dosed with, like, some type of LSD type thing. This guy is a prime example. Let's see. Yep. Yep. I wish I could show you. It's all connected. You see? We, you, <laughs> me, him, we're all connected. <laughs> what <laughs> heck? <gasps> Do you see light trails? <laughs> Guy who's got no clothes on. What are you doing? Why are you cheering him on? <laughs> oh my god, this is so weird. God damn Donovan. These people out of their minds. I see him. I see Remy. No, wait. Oh, I am Remy. Yeah, see, they're fine up there. I go up there, yeah, I'm gonna check out what's going on. Not often you get to douse a room. LSD filled people. Oh, what are you doing, lady? You okay? Get away! Get away! Yeah! Holy shit! Progressive. Nice. Stay out of my face. What the hell? She's got a knife. I don't like this guy at the party. <laughs> right there. Okay, never mind. This is who I am. <laughs> Not if this guy's doing this too, though. Going up there? Oh, I didn't even know there was a balls and wiener. You know, music coming out of there. Sure, what you're doing? You Imp. Shadow boxing. <laughs> Only dude getting late tonight. Still don't know why the hell she's stomping on that ground like that. Something is wrong. Get me out of here now. Yes, ma'am. I want additional men placed on the front door and around back. Layers. Yeah. Huh? Is he? Is he coming at me? Oh shit! Everyone, get out of here! Down! Get down! 
Oh my god. You jumped. Live. Even him. Got him. Oh, what is going on? I'm so sorry. I was gonna keep. I was gonna keep walking, but I'm like, oh God, it looks terrible. Okay, no, I'm not going. Nope. That for Ms. Marcano? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Put it on the ball. Has Digamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Won't someone get him out of here? All right, big boy. Time for you to take a walk. This should be fun. He's here! Great. Bitch. Oh, for a oh, man. <coughs> Shut up. You're right back. A door. It's not a door. Get in there. You're fine. I'll just attend to you. Precisely. The first time I saw Lucio, he looked so handsome. Dash, even. He wore the finest suits, drove the best cars. There was always something terribly. Romantic about all of this. <gasps> Ain't nothing romantic about robbing and killing people. Well, maybe not. But it certainly was Where's the Garmo? Garmo. They have me out in a building. Down by the water. Thought you were going to kill me. You ain't worth the trouble. I would have killed her. <laughs> That's pull. Just double checking though. And now I can get in the room. Probably gonna need this stuff too. the door. Oh shit, that don't sound Actually, 
Actually, I might need to go in here and get some ammo. There we go. <laughs> now, I ain't asking you a second time, boy. You've a sign over that land, hmm? I swear to Christ, I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? Hmm? I'm not, I'm not signing a damn thing. I'm just gonna go guns crazy on this one. Bastard didn't stand a chance. These are yours, boys. <laughs> Some cover. There you Get in line behind him. <laughs> Quadruple dick shot. There. Cut that sack of shit. <laughs> Your time is up. <laughs>
I'm looking right at him. you out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Okay. If they brought me here in my own car, I think it's still near. Yeah. Oh, God. He's dead. My hand is ruined. I barely even knew Remy. Oh, I haven't seen those before. Stop the car. I want to... That's a bad idea. Let me the fuck out! How long you think you'll last out there? Marcano ain't gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand! Shit! I just want to go home. I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while, keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay. Thank you. You saved my life. Don't mention it. Lincoln left him with me and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? <laughs> like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's better. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon. And this gook bitch comes strolling in, skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them, keeps them off of her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. Lincoln once told me he couldn't tell any other cheek. That the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. But I was just lying to myself. Look at how we treat each other. Compassion is a sign of weakness. But greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt, while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die. For what? So someone can make a few bucks? 
Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> there ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or Bobby Kennedy. But there always gonna be another Sal Marcano. Another Sammy Robinson. Another Lincoln Clay. We are cruel and wicked people. By the time you showed up. There's no one left to stand in our way. We run this city now. I heard from my boys before I came over here, and they locked down this turf without any trouble. We're good whichever direction <coughs> you go here, but we're even better if you make it official and let me call the shots there. I agreed to help you with our Marcano problem, believing our goals were aligned. But so far, I'm not seeing any of that. It's time for you to step up. Set things right, brother. Whoever you call to lock down the auction is up to you, and I respect that. But now, you're talking long-term responsibility. You trusted me with the last piece of the city. No reason to not trust me with this one as well. Let's wrap this up with a bow, buddy. Take your time, lad. Wouldn't want to fuck up his last piece of the city. <laughs> you, got you came to me for help. Asked me to forget about Baca and all the others you killed. What's that worth to you now? Make the right choice here, and I'll whip up some fresh Bucatini for you. Gonna need Vito to run this turf. Thanks, kid. Spent most of my life getting fucked by I one am hungry. or another. <laughs> and what we got going here is a real future. Ain't no one fucking with us anytime soon. Kind of thought I'd be gay to shit by now. So anything shy of that, and I'm good. Fuck. Fuck. You know how long I've been waiting for someone to stand up and be a man of his word? And in all my fucking days, you, Lincoln Clay, are the first motherfucker to do it. Thank you. You've done a hell of a job, Lincoln. Couldn't have done a better job myself. Probably. Holy Christ! How the fuck did we make it through this shite in one piece? I thought for a certain Scarlet I'd have his throat slit by now. You did a bang-up job here, lad. A goddamn dream come true. Can't wait to see where we go from here. I don't have much to show for this shit. But God damn it, if making money and being alive ain't a hell of a lot sweeter than being at the bottom of the bayou. We're living proof that the ways of Marcano, the lion, mm. the bat. She was actually not that bad. Usually she just gives me crap every time.